there's a saying in sanskrit atmavan manyate jagat we see everything understand the world around us based on our own personal experience so here's a question about krishna loving radha rani but end up marrying rukmini so people also feel like this is like our life story isn't it that we like one person and we end up marrying another person so how can krishna do this isn't this not cheating is this love so what is this all about so we have to understand krishna being god right he is not bound by mundane morals but at the same time the lord does not break mundane morals also so krishna's relationships with the gopis of vrindavan of the queens of dwarka are actually very pure so lord sri krishna being the supreme absolute truth god himself every emanation everything created in this world is his own energy so krishna whether he enjoys with anything is actually only enjoying with his own property his own energy it is us that when we try to enjoy another living being we try to enjoy another person we are actually trying to enjoy god's energy and that is the mistake so the lord when he enjoys with either the gopis or the dwarka ranis or whoever even with his gopas they are all his own energy they all are belonging to him still then why does lord make such a leela of the gopis of vrindavan and the queens of dwarka well this is a rasa this is how the lord reciprocates this is what he wants to enjoy different tastes so the lord is known as rasaraj so the gopis of vrindavan right these are known as the parakiras where the gopis are married to other people right and there is a intimacy and there is a fright and there's a tension and there's a worry that they'll be caught they'll be not caught it's like relationship out of wedlock so that creates a height in them right of course all the gopis husbands are also emanations of krishna's energy only they are not ordinary jivas they are all krishna's shakti but the whole scene role play is created so that the enhanced the excitement at the same time krishna also have duly wedded wives these are the queens of vrindavan where krishna is like the king and he has beautiful palaces and he has so many children 10 boys one girl from each of the queens and build and live ordinary like seemingly very mundane lives with them household life affair and that is called swakiras so the lord enjoys both of this now even in vrindavan among the gopis among this parakiras krishna has two kinds of tastes right one is a very submissive very very submissive personality submissive personality and that is chandravali who agrees with whatever krishna does and listens to whatever krishna does and just follows does not argue so that also creates a different hype and a taste in relationship and the other side there is radha rani who is a little feisty who may argue who may challenge now this chandravali became rukmini the principal queen of krishna in dwarka her expansion and radha rani her expansion is satyabhama who is one of the other queens of krishna and dwarka so krishna gets that same mood right all the manifestations of lakshmi's and and dwarka rani's are all manifesting from the original gopis of vrindavan who are all manifesting from shrimati radha rani in this way they just simply increase the pleasure of krishna and krishna being rasaraj he comes as mathura desh mathura desh krishna he comes as dwarka raj as dwarka desh krishna and he also gets different flavors of being a cowherd boy in vrindavan of being a king like that krishna is the real nayaka the real actor hero and in this way krishna love everyone equally right he loves everyone who reciprocates with him so radha rani is top most of course she is most pure she is his own energy and uh, it's not like in this world where we love one we cannot love another right if a man likes two uh, has two girlfriends or beloveds right he cannot love them equally he will like something in this person something else in that person but krishna is not like that krishna can reciprocate with everyone unlimitedly therefore we cannot compare or think about krishna as uh, love for radha rani and then marrying rukmini in our understanding when we and try to understand things according to that uh, phrase atmavan manyate jagat then we'll see everything as wrong but krishna is not like that uh, krishna does all these wonderful pastimes and the devotees by remembering this pastimes and how the lord is just reciprocating with so many of his devotees and how they are reciprocating in those capacities they become purified by this 
हरे कृष्णा